Good morning everyone and welcome to Dolly Intanon National Park. next to or on to the King and Queen Pagodas that are built in this Doi Intanon National Park in Chiang Mai. Um, it's a two hour drive from Chiang Mai city and it's absolutely stunning. Look at this view. You can see the mountains. The pagodas are very pretty. And these King and Queen Pagodas were actually built for King Rama the Ninth, um, the king that passed away of Thailand, and his wife, the queen. Uh, so this particular pagoda, the brown bronze one, was built for King Brahma the Ninth on his 60th birthday and the pagoda over there, the purple one, was built for his wife the Queen on her birthday in 1992. So this pagoda was built in 1987 for His Majesty the King 60th birthday and the purple one was built for Her Majesty the Queen's birthday in 1992. This place is so beautiful, it's absolutely stunning. Um, I'm just going to show you around. Just look at this view. This is just amazing. It's so beautiful. Definitely visit Doi Intanam uh, National Park where the King and Queen Pagodas are built because it's something you just shouldn't miss out on. It's so beautiful. These pagodas were built by the Royal Thai Air Force and the Thai citizens here in the north of Thailand. They are very beautiful. They are about 2000 meters above sea level and the whole area, the pagodas, everything around it is just very well kept and so beautiful. They have like beautiful um, art on the pagodas too. I booked a tour 
um, to go into the Doi Intanon uh, National Park and the tour was 1000 and 300 baht which is really cheap because it's a two hour drive from Chiang Mai city they pick you up from your hotel to the king and queen pagodas in the Doi Intanon National Park and so 1300 is not a lot at all uh, you get lunch you get to see the highest peak of Thailand too which we're going to next and some waterfalls so it's totally worth it so now I'm just gonna look at this flower garden they have over here. So, it's a bit cloudy today, but it's still really beautiful. Look at all these mountains, you can still see. <laughs> so it's early in the morning. Um, it's not that busy actually. It is um, 10 o'clock right now. Just look at these views, it's just stunning. Beautiful flowers everywhere. This just shows how much respect uh, Thai people have for the royal family. Um, yeah, 10 in the morning, not too busy at all. This is the first stop of the tour, so that is very nice. Oh, wait, I'm, this is my tour guide and he wants to take a photo of me i think um, because this is such a beautiful nice photo place so let's do it <laughs> My tour guide just uh, took a, a loads of photos of me. It was like a whole photo shoot. It was really funny. He's such a nice guy. Uh, he said like, if you go stand there, then I'll take a photo for you there. Oh yeah, stand there, no wait. And then he was like moving other people away. Like, <laughs> so yeah, good tour guide. Got loads of good photos for a nice thumbnail now. And just look how beautiful all the surroundings are too okay now we walk around the king pagoda the brown bronze colored one um, we are gonna go to the other side to the queen pagoda uh, because we obviously also want to admire the Queen Pagoda that is so beautiful. I think the colors they picked for these pagodas are just insane. Both of them are just so nice. <laughs> So I'm just going to walk all these stairs down and then <laughs> over there all the stairs up again towards the Queen Pagoda. So the King Pagoda has escalators that actually work and the one, the escalators of the Queen Pagoda don't work today, so, but that's fine. Uh, it's a nice little workout and it's totally worth it to see these beautiful pagodas. It's just so stunning. Oh, look at all the flowers they built around these queen, the Queen Pagoda too. It's so stunning. Ah, look at the King Pagoda. 
so beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah, so these are the surroundings. I'm going to go there, but just look at all the flowers and stuff they build around it. So behind me is the Queen Pagoda. This is the Queen Pagoda and this pagoda was actually built 15 years after they built the King Pagoda. So this one is 15 years uh, newer than the other one, but just as stunning and beautiful as the King Pagoda and look at all the beautiful flowers around it again So the Queen Pagoda also, I just love these colors, it's so beautiful, so feminine, perfectly chosen for the Queen, the ex-Queen um, of Thailand. Uh, also has art, Buddhistic art on the Pagoda, just like the King Pagoda did, but then in a different color and a different, um, t like, different kind of art it's so beautiful look at this that's just stunning and it's so nice you can like the two pagodas are next to each other you can see one pagoda next to the other one when you're visiting them they're like forever together next to each other connected uh, yes yeah, it's, it's I think it's really beautiful such a beautiful So just stunning and now I'm gonna go down to see uh, the flower garden of this Queen Pagoda which also looks really really beautiful there we go So from here, there's actually a really nice point, you can see the pagodas together, um, next to each other. And that is this point in the flower garden, where you can see the both of them 
beautifully built together. <laughs> Ready for another photo? Yes, please, please. the best. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you stay in the middle of the bridge. In the middle of the bridge? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. My tour guide slash best photographer ever. Oh, uh, so this is a really popular photo spot. Definitely the best photo spot on the Green Pagoda side, on the bridge with all the beautiful flowers. Beautiful. So beautiful. Just look at this. So I am now on Thailand's highest point. This point is 2,500 something meters above sea level and it is official the highest point of thailand so there's a little trail over here it's 150 meters long and then you walk this trail and come across this big sign which says the highest spot in thailand so i've officially been here 2500 and something meters above sea level now in here they all you understand back so these are the um that are made for the king and the princess of the Lana kingdom, the last king and princess. Uh, the Lana kingdom was a medieval kingdom that um, existed from the 13th century till the 18th century and Chiang Mai used to be the capital of the Lana kingdom, which is really cool. So this is pieces left of the Lana kingdom built for the king and the princess, the last ones from the Lana Kingdom, very cool. So they're next to the highest spot in Thailand. And it's just beautiful. There's moss everywhere growing. It's a very ancient <laughs> feeling. by um, village people that live in the mountains so they make their all their own products, products themselves and they sell them on this market so I'm gonna have a look and get some nice treats because it looks like they have delicious stuff over here so let's have a look
Oh, there's a lot of dried fruits and nuts and crisps and stuff. They sell their own honey, fruit, vegetables. Um, yeah, loads of stuff. It all looks really, really good. Oh, yeah. Mango? Mango, I'll try one. Mm. Can I have a, a small one, please? So we now arrived at our last stop of the tour, which is called the Wachiratan Waterfall. This waterfall had a different name, but they renamed this waterfall to Wachiratan Waterfall to honor the crown prince when he was younger, who is now the king of Thailand. So here you can see the beautiful Wachiratan Waterfall. This waterfall is stunning and it is about 80 meters high and it's about 800 meters from sea level and the water is the same water that comes that goes through the Mekong River so it looks beautiful this is one of the most beautiful waterfalls I've ever seen incredible So <laughs> three <laughs> oh, you know what? Why You know what? You missed when I took uh, one of the girls to see them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do you have a really? Video? <laughs> the, the, one of the. the yeah, yeah, yeah. She was just there. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, it's beautiful, it's stunning. I hope you enjoyed this just as much as I did. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe this video so you will see more videos like this. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.